Right, so what I'm going to do today is um, I'm going to show you how to make tin with numbers. When you're adding numbers, say for example, you are doing 5 plus 3 plus 5. So you've got three numbers to add, right? And we know that you won't be able to add up all three numbers at the same time. So what are you going to do? Well, what you're going to do is look for the two numbers that add up to 10. So when I look at this, I see there's a 5, and I know that 5 plus 5 will actually give me a 10. Right? So I'm going to add those two up, and I'm going to write a 10 here. And 10, because it ends with 0, we know that it's very easy to add to. You don't need any counting. So you go 10 plus 3, and your answer is 13. It's as easy as that. However, to be able to do these um, addition problems, you'll have to know your basic facts to 10. So you kind of have to be aware of which numbers add up to 10. So if you're watching this and you're thinking, um, I'm actually not very um, confident about that yet, stop the video, pause the video, and grab a buddy if you want to, or by yourself. Go and find um, the basic facts, um, practice cards, or find yourself some counters or some playing cards, or even uh, just your maths book and your pencil, and see how many addition facts you can write up where 10 is the answer. Remember, you can flip numbers around when you're doing pluses. So, for example, if you are doing 5 plus 5, you flip them around as a stellar 5 plus 5. If you do 7 plus 3, which makes 10, if you flip them around, it is 3 plus 7 still makes 10. So see how many of them you can write down. It's a bit like doing a target number on 10. And once you've got that list with you, come back to this and watch this video and then there'll be some other um, um, problems where you will actually have to solve it just like I've shown you how to solve it. So before we go, here is another one. Say you've been given 7 plus 5 plus 3 and you're going, oh I know 7 plus 5 Yes, you may know what 7 plus 5 makes, and that is perfectly all right to do. But because in this case, we are adding 10, or we're making 10 rather to begin with. So your job would be to find the two numbers, which in this case would be 7 and 3, that add up to 10. And when you've got 7 and 3 adding up to 10, you write your 10 here, and you can see straight away, oh, yeah, 10 ends in 0. There's my 5, 10 and 5 is a 15 and I don't even need to count to get my answer and that is how it's done. So have a look at this and as I said go and get your basic facts sorted, come back to it and practice some more making tents and I'll talk to you when you come down to me for a lesson.